Hey everybody, it's Josh from the Underground Garage. In this video, this update on the Twin Turbo 5.3 Mustang, I'm going to solve the fuel rail intake problem that I had with the car, and I'm going to get the intake manifold put on the car. So if you guys like the Underground Garage and want to support the Underground Garage video habit, I'm going to put a link in the description where you guys can get some of these t-shirts. Other than that, I hope you enjoyed the video. One of the problems with the LS2 intake is the height of the injectors. So the LS2 intake uses a, a very specific injector and it sets the height of the fuel rail at the correct height for this intake manifold. So how far this is up off the intake, that's determined by how tall these injectors are. And the LS2 intake has a specific height of injector. It's the only one that that uses that height of an injector. The older stuff, the LS1, LS6, those injectors were taller. So it would put this fuel rail too high, so you wouldn't be able to bolt it to the intake. And the later stuff, the LS3, LS7 style injectors, they put the intake, this fuel rail too low, so you won't be able to bolt it to the intake. So that's what I have, is I have some 85 pound injectors that are the LS7, LS3 height, and then I have an aftermarket set of fuel rails. So there's really no good way to make that work on this LS2 intake. So what I did, Hopefully it'll show up in the video. Let me change the camera angle a little bit. So on this particular setup, LS2 intake, aftermarket fuel rail, and an LS3, LS7 height injector, typically the fuel rail would be too low. You wouldn't be able to mount it onto the intake manifold. It just so happens with this brand of aftermarket fuel rail, the mounting holes for the fuel rail happen to sit on top of this mounting pad here on the intake. When it's all put together and this is all tight, that's where it just wanted to sit was that was the correct height directly on that pad. Hopefully you can see it. You, what I did is there's an Allen head bolt right there. I was able to drill through this mounting tab on the intake manifold and just bolt the fuel rail directly to the intake manifold. And what I had to do, I was able to drill an access hole in the bottom of the intake. That's how I got the bolt in there. And it also allows me to put the wrench in there to tighten the bolt. The only hang up with this setup is that if you ever need to take the fuel rails off, the intake manifold has to come off the car because this is up against the head. You can't get to the bolt. So that's kind of a drag. But other than that, this setup should work well. And it was the cheapest way that I could come up with to get the fuel rails, the injectors, everything that I had working on the LS2 intake. All right, the intake manifold's on the car. Well done. All right, everybody, that's it for this video. I hope you enjoyed it. Thanks for watching. Be sure to hit that like, subscribe button, share, that sort of thing. There's still a lot to do. Hopefully in the next video, maybe I'll get the front accessories on the engine, that sort of thing. But look forward to it, and uh, see you guys in a couple days.